Primus. <laughs> Hello, good evening and welcome. This is episode number 16 of our season 3 story arc known as Into the Jaws of Death. Um, I am going to immediately hand over to Kevin for a quick recap because he makes notes. <laughs> it has been known. Hello there. Right. Um, well, the last few uh, sessions we've been making uh, steady progress through this fault that is barring our way before we can get to the uh, town at the base of uh, Mount Pentecost. And we've been going through that. Inside here, there's been a load of very interesting and quite hurty mechanical type beasties. Um, we've slowly, systematically worked through that, clearing out pretty much most of it. Um, in the last session, we faced off against the main guardian of this place, this three-headed mecha dragon that liked to cover you in oil before turning you into a, uh, a barbecue. Um, we managed to outlast that, and then we found a vault with a small part of the Pentecost uh, fortune inside, but that was also had a desident, uh, a creature inside that um, pretended to be some of that treasure and was some kind of variant uh, mimic of some sort. And we dealt with that, and we were just looking at this nice pile of stuff on the ground. I think uh, Borin was about to Scrooge McDuck through some of it. And that was really where the last session um, ended. Cool. Yes, indeed. Um, you have defeated the Mecha Dragon and are now kind of appraising some of the wealth that you have discovered in this uh, in this area here. This was obviously some kind of treasure room, uh, although you suspect that it was probably better ordered in ages past. Um, you find in there, as I sent to you in the uh, in the Discord chat, um, mm -hmm. which and I've I, I used actually the DMG treasure tables. So I, I can um, read out what you because there were some bits where the same gem was repeated, and I've just uh, combined them. That's great. Okay, yeah, yes, please, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, um, our tight-fisted, measly uh, DM says in this uh, vault. <laughs> There is a paltry 20,000 gold pieces, 1,600 platinum pieces, um, two blue um, sp spinels, whatever they are, uh, one black pearl, an ele uh, alexandrite, um, two topazes, four peridots, um, two aquamarine um, gems, and a wonder fireball. <laughs> Indeed, a wonder fireball. Um, that that may even be somewhat um, somewhat extraneous to our, our uh, fire fire casting um, genasi, but you can't have too many fireballs, especially when friendly fire is so entertaining. Um, so let's get you all long rested. Um, I have decided not to um, cause any impediment to your resting, so you may long rest at will. If you need any help with that, then I am happy. I'm well, can we can we go on the main map so we can actually? Uh... Oh, I've just realised that you can't see what I can see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> here is uh, the main map. So I'm going to try and move the uh, the area a little bit. It seems a bit out of focus. There we go. It's sprung into focus. So here we have before us um, the. Uh, the treasure trove of this fortress um, and it contains I, I would say um, <coughs> it probably contains more than came up on that random table perhaps um, <coughs> shall, we, shall we say oh I better turn off the token lock so that you can move um, token oh. locks oh dear there go the cameras <laughs> <coughs> so the token oh. lock is a very wonderful thing because uh, it allows you to stop the, uh, the the players moving about while you're not there, but um, it's. I don't have a long rest button on my um, overhead menu. 
No. Mm. That is because Roll20 have seen fit to put a long rest button on the character sheet. Ah. So, Fair enough, then. Um, there is something else. Uh, your class abilities, um, some of them you will want to set up so that they automatically restore on either the long or short rest. There's a little drop down. You can set it up. Then you can press the long rest button or the short rest button and it will restore your class abilities as well as your hit points. Um, it also does hit die. That is why I have retired the group long rest button because you now have a button on your character sheet for it. Well, this might be a silly question. I won't worry about the uh, setting up other things. I can do that manually. But where is said long rest button on my character oh, sheet? I've... Thanks for asking. Ah, if, it, if it isn't there... Then well, it need... might be. It depends where I'm looking. Right. It's on the okay. right hand side of your sheet. Yeah, it's, under right... your yeah it's, it's above your resource boxes. You know, on the right hand side, you've got. Ah, oh, right. Yep. Seen it. Yep. Um, it is not. Ne I don't know if it's actually a default setting. So, um, so you, if if it's not enabled, you can turn it on by going to the character sheet cogwheel, and then I think there's just a checkbox on there and oh i'm so relieved that we managed to uh, fix carry rook's thingamajig that was uh, um, that was a bit worrying wasn't it i suppose i'd better uh, heal um Borin, but uh, i don't seem to see him on the map so have, have you taken hit that permission off me uh i was doing a little bit of auditing shall we say that's fair enough um i was trying to work out what 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 magic items everybody had I mean, I, I could, I could, yeah. I'm sure Boring's quite happy to stay on fumes while the rest of us are all fully rested. <laughs> oh, so the silence. He, he hasn't denied it, so I take the silence as uh, he agrees with me. For those, uh, for those wondering what we're talking about, um, Michael is currently on his way home um, on the train, and so he has intermittent signal. Hope he can hear us, but uh, some of the time, but most of the time we can't hear him. I've given you control of Borin, at least I think I have. If I haven't, yep. there we go. Let's uh, let's make sure that you can see his character sheet as well. I did a bit of uh, fiddling about with um, uh, magic item handouts. I was looking at them thinking, oh, they haven't got much. And then I looked at your character sheets and realised there were things on your character sheets which were not at, uh, that we didn't have handouts for. So actually, all of you have got quite a lot of magic items. Some of them are ones that I have... <laughs> some of them are ones that you have picked up randomly. Some of them are ones that I have crafted myself. Um, and we've actually got two unassigned magic items. Yeah, um, during, one, they're, one they're of in the loose rare item. Yeah, so, um, so basically... Uh, when it only came up with one magic item from this hall, I thought, you've got tons of magic items already, don't be greedy. So, so there we go. Um, I, I'm, I'm predicting, even though he can't speak to us, uh, there is going to be one question, because we're having a long rest, that will ring from the train across the ether. Is it a new day? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> let's say it is a new day, and give Borin his ring charges back. Well, it's a, okay, it's a it's a dice roll for the. Uh, oh, is it? I, th I think it is for the ring of the uh, ring of the ram. Oh, okay. Well, I I actually got the handout for that, so that mm -hmm. we can actually look at it. Um, and I'll just check my um, my my uh, st staff of fire because that has um, that's a recharge as well, and it d six plus four. Uh, so, so the the ring of the ram recharges one d three per day. So, uh, if somebody wouldn't mind rolling for how much for uh, borrowing d three per day, come back if oh, I read just it do, correctly. Do half a d six. Um, okay, got one plus how many? That's very confusing, especially since we're using an online platform where you can literally roll a D3. Yeah, but rather than type it, there's just a drop-down dice. I'm just used to picking up physical dice and going, okay, it's a D3, so half a D6. Okay. Uh, but um, I, don't, it was I, I, a... know, I don't know why a D3 isn't on there, actually. It's... Cr it, it's... Uh, but you said D, D3 plus... I, I think it just says D3. Uh, let me okay, so it again. I don't want to don't want to do him out of charges. The ring has three charges and it regains one d three expended charges daily at dawn. Actually, so he's got one charge. Yeah. Okay. 
I tried. At least I remember for you, um, Michael. Um, yeah. Oh, Deep has just rolled a d7 and fumbled. So. <laughs> oh, it's it's uh, it's one of it's one of Chris's youths. Or children, sometimes they're called. Some people call them children youths. Sometimes they're just called little monsters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, this one's lovely. He's my oldest. He's just back from helping out at cops. Oh, nice. Good lad. How long till he gets into D&D &D and gives up Cubs? <laughs> yeah, we've talked about D&D. &D. He is going to give it a try at some point. Oh, groovy. Right. On with the show. I am going yep. to uh, quickly get rid of the uh, spiritual guardians because that would have expired while you were resting. Mm -hmm. uh, if anybody has a beaten up face, then let's get rid of that. No, everybody's fine. So you have... Uh, picked up, let's say that you have picked up what wealth you can carry. We will say that there are other items of interest and value, but that you have decided to leave them there. So I'm going to say that what the, the treasure that I rolled is the treasure that you decide to take with you. That we've way skimmed, you don't have we've to do any maths. We've skimmed a little bit and uh, Deep still has uh, enough in his piggy bank here. Yeah, yeah. So, so for plot purposes... Um, there is enough wealth left here to, um, well, to hopefully do some good works in the future. Um, yeah, well, thank you for not wanting to ransack the whole thing. Well, I think it'd be out of order to do it right in front of you, Deep. It, yeah, just... <laughs> yeah, you got to yes. wait till I'm sleeping. Yeah, hey. So if you guys just continue down that hallway, I'll be five minutes. <laughs> 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 I, I don't think you are quite physically strong enough to carry everything here, but I think... Everyone, everyone would be like, has Karaluk put on weight? <laughs> he suddenly looks a lot broader than he was before. <laughs> but he's can't moving move very anywhere. slowly. <laughs> is he going to do a Cartman? Oh, it's almost like or Skyrim when you just suddenly go that one pound over your limit and you suddenly just completely crawl. Rooted to the spot. Um... um. But, uh, okay. yeah. Should we make sure that the rest of this place is completely cleared out? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. The last thing we want is to leave anything that could, if the people from the towns need to use this as a safe haven, we don't want to have any anything that could harm them, I guess. Well, could we just check the secret uh, doors or panels or vaults inside the vault? You could do. That's true. If if uh, if anyone wants to, I um. Can I roll perception for that, or is that investigation? Um, it could be either. Um, let's. Which which are you better at? Perception. Okay, give us a perception roll. See if you can spot any hidden doors. Oh. Well, that's quite good. Um, you do not find any hidden doors. Yes, I, I think uh, these vault, this vault, it's one way in, one way out, I guess. Yes, this is a, a very secure vault. The walls are very thick. They're made of stone and, uh, well, I mean, the whole place is made of stone, but you get the impression that that, uh, that vault was pretty well guarded. And uh, and set up to be structurally very uh, nigh on impregnable. Right. Well, um, looking at my sketches I've made up of um, of of this uh, facility, we've we've got the northeast uh, that could isn't hasn't been fully secured. You've got the very centre area below this. Um, throne room and then you've got the southeast corner that just needs to be secured I'm rolling out a bit so that you can have a look at the wider map or our, our friends at home can look at the wider map anyway oh. so the, the northeast corner uh, is kind of more or less you've been round most of it there was like a, a, a set of interconnecting rooms which you uh, surmised might be used to allow 
mm -hmm. um, carts to turn around and weird things like that you know if you had to have some vehicles indoors that might be how you would fix it yeah um, but there are definitely a few areas that you have not yet been to <clears throat> So, uh, so we can, so we can say folks. Oh, that was good. I just lost Discord. Can any, can everyone hear me? I can yeah, hear you. That's good. I don't know what happened there, but hopefully we'll, uh, hopefully we'll keep it. We're we still recording. We're still recording. Yeah. So, um, who wants to? Which way should we go first? My suggestion is south. So that we can complete off that little bit. I mean, we've gone north of it and south of it. So just complete that little map. Because that means that there isn't much in it. It's a small room, so therefore we're not walking into as much danger. Okay. I, th I thought you loved danger. Yeah, we I are a Danger is your middle name. <laughs> and my standing reaction is, if there's a chest in any of those rooms, throw an axe at it and see if it moves. If it's alive, I'm killing it. One day, that those axes of yours will actually go for a humanoid. But uh, I do have questions I want to ask you about that, Boren, at some point. But I don't think this is the right time or place um, about your your axes. I have questions about Calrook's eyes. Why they're so pretty? <laughs> oh. Why they turn black? Why did my eyes turn black? Oh, did someone punch you? Yeah, did your mom? Many, many you people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not dragon. Uh, uh, Pontos. Um, Hi. Uh, if you join us in the uh, throne room, please, sir. Oh, bloody hell. So about the old eyeball problem, I have been wondering if uh, maybe there's a little more than meets the eye to those coffin nails. My thoughts exactly. <clears throat> well, again, if we have time where I can... Why about the station? If, if we're... If if we can go, if we can find somewhere where I can spend some time in safety, I can pr possibly try to study them if um, if you, you want me to, Karuk. So you're going at the time. I'm quite happy with my coffin nails. Well, just to see if there's anything untoward that it could be affecting. That's all I'm, I'm worried about. So you have proven a great asset to us. I don't want anything untoward happening to you. That's That is all. Uh, nothing untoward's happening. I'm absolutely fine, my friends. Uh, as, long as, as, long as, you, as, as long as you're sure. Yeah, fine. Until he's not. Oh, dear. Hi. So, Deep. Um, oh, I'm going to make Deep go oh. with light. Uh, just before the excitement begins. Um, I'm coming on. You're coming on there. So how how much light do you get from a light spell? No, it's not much light. Uh, one second. Is it 2020? 20 20 foot radius. Yeah, so 2020. 2020. Yeah. There we go. So we'll have 20 feet of bright light. And 20 feet of dim light. Hit save. Now, uh, it may not make much difference, but Kararuk is... Uh, sorry, not Kararuk. Deep is now glowing because he's cast light on his shield. I will give you a button to do that if you, he's think, a vampire. If you think you might do that more often. Yeah, he's all sparkly. He's like a vampire, man. Uh, yeah. Oh, what, Deep. A what a confused generation think that vampires are sparkly oh dear <laughs> anyway um um as uh deep steps out into the hallway he hears the unmistakable clanking 
of clockwork abominations preparing to uh, do horrible things to you. But luckily, you're all level 9 now, so this will be easy. Or maybe. We'll find out in a minute. Um, please will you roll for initiative. Right, okay, and uh, so that's that. And, um, oh, what no, you, and you got that. Hmm. Okay, let's pop those into order. We have Borin, Karuk, Chardeep, and Pontos. Chew Bacon Ooh, goes on Pontos' didn't. turn. Yeah. So, I'm going to make that nice and wide so that the long bits of writing on it all fit in. And just, just, just ask him, is all the um, the sidebar um, on the main hmm? screen showing? Do you want to take a cab? A beer? Yeah. The sidebar? Yeah, well, like where you see all the dice rolls, I think. Just make sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's going. I okay. should hang on. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, so. Oh, I'm losing my headset. It doesn't want to stay on my head. That's not good. So, uh, Boren is the first to act. Hopefully, mm. he'll be home soon. He'll be, able to, he'll be able to move himself. But for now, um, oh, fire away, Kevin. Hmm. Well, he unfortunately, just to London cash carry, and right. then take a cab from there. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. I'm just going to do a thing. Yeah, I was going to. How do I do this? There we go. I'm just, uh, I'm just muting Michael for a minute. Yeah. Because we we don't need to know his plans to get home. <laughs> no, I know. Um. Um. Right. Okay. Just because he's not um able to really get uh too far to engage and these guys I'm assuming are they up in the oh no um no then these aren't the um uh, the mantis ones so these aren't on the roof yeah these aren't the ceiling boys these are the these are the low movers okay so um it goes to there and that's then gives me uh, these 20 feet so it uh, he's going to uh lob an axe Cool. So, hand axe so, at you. Um, have, have they got cover or not? I would say not. No, they they are uh, they're kind of around okay. the corners, but they're they're big enough uh, that you can hit them. And the DM leaves again. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun with uh, Discord today. It um it seems not to like me very much. Oh, good shot. And I'll just drop an axe. Cool. So, I'll put and the, uh, oh, was it that one you were going for? Of course it was. It was, yeah. And then I'll uh, throw a second one because why not? Oh, and I was I said I was going to throw, so cancel. <laughs> Did, One hit, one miss. Yeah, and I'll go to there, and I'll just adjust his sheet if it doesn't, if it hasn't already done it, and then that'll be him. Should have done it automatically. Yeah, yeah, it has. So that's what I'm just checking. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> it works. The system works uh, on occasion. Well, yeah, and I was, I was also just checking on it anyway. So yeah, uh, he's just gone forward, swearing and cursing, and he's just lobbed a couple of axes. One of them's embedded in some of the metalwork. The other one just clanged off and didn't. Cut, uh, bite in and fell off to the floor. Uh -huh. Oh, well. Worst things happen at sea, apparently. Mm. So, on to the Clockwork Abomination, whose turn it is. He sees Borin charging forwards and thinks, Ooh, what nuisance can I get up to here? So, um, he dashes forward around the corner. And he gets two attacks, one with a bite, one with a slam. So he tries to bite first of all. Oh, he misses. 21 against 22. Harsh. That, that, uh, that flying uh, um, 
enchanted shield that circles him seems to be helping his uh, survivability quite nicely. Indeed. But not all the time. Not all the time. So the Clockwork Abomination shoulders him with his uh, with its big metal spiky carapace causing 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Um, not that spiky then. <laughs> Probably just heavy and blunt. Um, on to Kararuk then. Cool. So I'm going to move down one. Then I'm going to shoot an arrow at this chap. Uh, covered none. Not crit none. Body none. No. I'm guessing a standard attack, but with sneak because he's engaged. Uh, yeah, sneak yes. Uh, advantage no. Cool. Goodness oh. me! That was a lot of damage. That was a lot oh. of damage. So. Three sixes. Uh, ow. Yeah, baby. Is that fast blood? Um, yeah. Yeah, you, you win a thing. The boy so, that wasn't a plus one arrow either, was it? That was just a normal one. No. So, wow, okay, of the, uh, you get 5d6 for your sneak attack now. Oh, yeah. And three oh, of those, yeah. three of those were max. So we've got, uh, we've got three, three sixes there. I, I wonder if that has anything to do with your, your eyeballs or your nails or anything. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that was, uh, and it, that was almost perfect sneak attack damage. So that was pretty good going there. You the the arrow finds um, <laughs> finds a chink in the armor and um, lodges itself deep within the whirring clock mo work mechanisms of the abomination and and it starts making some horrible choking and grinding noises as its uh, as its as its cogs cannot turn properly. Um, he is not a happy Excellent. boy at all. Um, we are now on to sorry. Anything else from Carrie Rook? I'm just, I can't hide it. I'm guessing someone in this corridor, so I'll just stay where I am. Cool. Okay. The next clockwork abomination. How fast do these buggers go? 30 feet. So, does that get him to you guys? I mean, when you've got a 15 foot reach, 10 feet away is the same as 5 feet away. So, <laughs> with his telescopic body parts, and with a philosophy of sharing the love, we will try and bite deep, but slam Kararuk. So here comes the attack. Ching! Oh, that was a pitiful attempt. Very disappointing. Then here comes the slam. Oh, slam is obviously the more effective of the attacks today. So, we will move on to Char, who is at the back, where uh, where uh, where he belongs, where he is uh, most comfortable. Uh, yeah, so a general doesn't sully himself at the front. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just, I'm just going to use Uncanny Dodge on that as well, by the way. Oh, yes, yeah, go ahead. So that should be six back, yeah, I think, but you have, a, you have the magic button of doom. I am. Um... Special that one, cool. that one that was has already taken a fair few hits. I'm going to just throw a couple more blasts his way. Oh, nice. oh hello, nice. hello. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Uh, that is, um, that is maximum damage from a uh, a crit for me. Oh no, it's not. It's just shy. Um, two points shy, shy. 28 would have been my maximum I could have got, but uh, mm. I've, I'll take that. If I miss again, it's because the um, the kickback from the first one threw my aim. Um, <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> 46 damage from two Eldritch Blasts. Yes. What happened? Nice. Wow. Uh, I just want to check something. Um, 
while we're here. That was brilliant. That is awesome. Um, can we just check um, your spell casting uh, ability is charisma, which is five? It, no, it's 18. Uh, sorry, I mean the, the bonus. Bonus is four. So the bonus is four. We get four from uh, proficiency, which is eight. And yep. then the other two should be from your Wand of the Warcaster. Is that right? And I, I know uh, Wand of the Warcaster is only to hit. Yeah, I just want to make yeah. sure it's in there because you you have a plus right. ten, plus yes. ten spellcasting ability modifier. Uh, yeah, sorry, spellcasting Pro modifier. Pro Proficiency is four, charisma is four, so that's um, eight, and then um, the plus two from the Wand of the Warcaster. Cool, it's good. It's putting it in automatically, which is uh, which is really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so big big damage from um, uh, from Char there. I am a I am aghast. I am agape. It's brilliant. Um, the gun shows arrived. Indeed, and uh, and if you remember with these uh, with these lovely things here, uh, anything within ten feet will now need to make a DC fourteen dexterity save, please, because they they explode, which is one of the funniest things that you can have that. a monster to do. <laughs> so uh, a DC fourteen dex save for Borin, please. Oh dear. Oh, right. Here comes forty-six worth of fire damage to Borin. Oof. Oh, it's only sixteen. Ouch. It could be worse. Um, uh, won't the other do that have to take one as well? Yep, I think he probably does. Yeah. Uh, let yeah. me check to see what he is resistant against. Okay, so he's gonna take a deck save. He gonna fail a deck save, so he takes some fire damage um, of mm -hmm. a of a of an amount which may be somewhat less than what you see. Um, okay, so somewhat charred, ha <laughs> hey. Somewhat somewhat charred. Um, Borin looks on, and then we move on to deep. All right. Kablam! Oh, Kablamo! Well, and, and the 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 Double effect one. actually appeared. Double one. Curses. But nearly max damage from the blessed strike, so that's not so bad. Yeah. All right, that's it for me. Cool. On to Pontos, who has a clear <laughs> a clear run yeah. now. Deep was almost getting out of it. Nope. Let's just get out of the out of the uh, splash damage here. <laughs> Ryan is that oh is it can you say it again mate you, you broke up part way through sorry I stopped talking oh okay. um, just seeing if it was in a straight line I guess it's technically not um well if you just go straight down 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, I mean, you can get you can get a charge in there. I think um, Chew Bacon goes about 60 feet, doesn't he? So you could back up and run in if you want. Yeah, we'll do that. Jump Here on the back. Know. So, uh, Chew Bacon charges in. Let's have Chew Bacon first then. See what he does with his um, hooves of horror. Oh, I'm lucky. Of torment. And other kinds of alliteration too. That is a terrible shame. But even so, here comes Ponto. Here comes Jeez. the big man. Seventeen for seventeen. Not bad. Oh, that's weird. I could have sworn they had a higher armor class than that. No, that's fine. Okay. Oh, uh, that's what. Mm, yeah. So there we go. the clockwork abomination um, is leaking oil and looking somewhat wobbly. Um, anything else from Pontos? No. Okay, on to Borin. Okay, he's just going to uh, saddle up this way. 
just a little. His, his face has got that, um, yeah, sort of road runner kind of blackened. His hair sort of pushed back from that explosion right in front of his face. <laughs> yeah, why not Coyote just, looking a bit burned? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's just going to um, grab his uh, great axe from over his back and he's going to swing at this thing just in no mood for any of this stuff. Then again, is that any different to boring at most times? So. Does he does he use his war cry? Well, he had no real chance to run up. He was only sort of going a couple of feet sideways, so he's more muttering and cursing. Makes sense. Yeah, if if, if he had a bit of a run up, he he may may have done. But um, Ooh. did I do that with advantage? Oh, it looks like I forgot to click advantage. Oh, well, no, sorry. Uh, oh, if you if you got to get, yeah, the first one had advantage. The second one didn't. So so have another go. Sorry, I'm just uh, not used to all of. Oh well, same dice roll. Yeah, never mind. Uh, anything else from Borin? Any uh, any fighter powers? Um, no, he's gonna he's gonna stay there for now. If if anything um, attacks him and misses, he might be able to repost. Um, oh, and he's just gonna keep keep some of his toys for later on in other areas of this fortress. He's only allowed to he's only allowed to repost if he pronounces the T. Yes, I did say repost. <laughs> oh, on to carry Rook. So, seeing the other one blow up and a big ball of flames and deep running away because he was too close, I'm going to take a step back towards Char, and then I'm going to fire my longbow again. Okay, hopefully. Oh, come on. Boom. 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 Again with sneak attack because Boren's engaged, I guess. Well, Boren and... Um... And Pontasu. Nice. Yay! Hey. That means there's going to be lots of dexterity saves. I love clockwork abominations. Um, so, deck saves from Borin, Pontos, and from Chew Bacon, please. Uh, DC of 14. Borin is going to take half damage. Pontos is going to take full damage. What about the... Uh, the Pig of Doom. The, the Pig of Doom. Okay. So, somehow this explosion has splashed forwards into Pontos and Chew Bacon. And uh, Borin has taken less of the damage this time um 46 here it comes 16 again um so that is eight for borin which i shall deduct and 16 points each for pontos and chew bacon which is uh which is lovely Said the evil DM. Um, you are currently out of combat. As the uh, smoke from that clears, you just see Borin sort of spin the um, his great axe a few times before putting it in the back, and just you get the uh, Final Fantasy VII tango music kick in as he's doing it. Oh, but which which variation is it? Is it from seven, eight, nine, or eight, seven? Number seven. Number seven. Oh, okay. Um, that was why I, I uh, that was my adolescence really killing that. And I've and Boren's going to pick up his two axes. Cool. Right. So Boren, I think it said if he saw a chest, he wanted to toss an axe at it. Oh well. If that's what he wants to do. Well, it's Kev's call. Well, he did. He did say that. So, um, Boring just going to go mine, 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 and he's going to go that close, and he's going to. It's going to hurt. I, I, I'm sure Boring would go closer than that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I had yes, yes. Uh, I, I can't uh, click or anything for it. For it. Yeah, there's 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 no target, but you can roll mm. a d20, and we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Ha. Okay. Um, 
So it, it, it's, 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 it's fine, Michael. It's fine. Don't roll on the Did fumble just... table. I think we need a custom, uh, a custom <laughs> result for this one. Um, so the uh, the hand axe pings <laughs> off the uh, pings off the, the the clasp at the front of the treasure chest where you would where you'd hook your padlock in if you had one, and uh, it just bounces straight back and cracks in one. So um, we will we will do. A D6 plus. Uh, there we go. And it's strength modifier for a thrown axe, isn't it? So mm -hmm. His strength modifier is uh, is plus four. Oh dear. So, so, so it's eight points. Eight points. Hit in the face with his own axe. There we go. I've taken that off. <laughs> Whoops. He just asked the question you asked, Kev. Very nice. From, from when he... From when he... He called um, a half hour ago. The words have finally arrived to us. Um, yeah, we, all... <laughs> we already asked that, Michael. Don't worry. Oh, can you guys hear Michael? I can't hear anything. No, he's he messaging just. Uh, he just asked about, oh, since it's a new day, do I get my uh, ring of RAM? Ah, oh, yeah. He's, he's catching up. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to open Discord on here because then I can see the uh, see the text chat. Mm -hmm. I kind of see it while the video's up. No worries. Um, so, now this one looks uh, safe. Um, if, if anyone wants to play all silly uh, buggers with the lock, it, I've made sure it's not going to bite you. So, uh, for our for our audience at home, um, Deep has just shut the door. I just wait for the you know the light from the flames to appear at the bottom of the door and then open it again. Sensible. Okay. You're mute. Oh, we can't hear you, Chris. Sorry. How do you want me to check this chest? Well, the I'm usual... checking to see if it's alive. Okay, how, how are you checking it. to see it's alive? I'm going to prod it with an arrow. <laughs> so you, oh, you little bugger. You prod it with an arrow. It The arrow doesn't stick to it. It makes no... Um, it makes no unusual movements. It just appears at the moment to be a large wooden box wrapped cool. in iron fittings. Can I check for traps? You can certainly try. So let's Ooh. have a, uh, a perception check. <laughs> okay, you do not detect any traps in this uh, in this chest. Cool. So I'm going to show. Come on in, deep. It's safe. Then I'm going to be in from to open the door, then I'm going to open the chest. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm just uh, making it so that I can see through the oh. eyes of uh, your character. Well, my page has just disappeared. Just uh, it back up. Yeah. So, did you. Uh, you're opening the chest? Yes. Okay, just give me a, oh, second. a second or two. Um, I just need to find the button. Give me a second, I'm just trying to find the room again. It's my page. There we go. There we go. So, um, I, <laughs> I mean, you'd have been disappointed if it wasn't a fireball <laughs> trap, so, you know... <laughs> Where um, been? Please, can I have a uh, a dexterity, dexterity. save? Perfectly positioned, uh, boring on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, impeccable. <laughs> save dexterity. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Uh. Okay. So we're going to roll 
8d6 worth of fiery doom. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. And what do we get? We get 26. So, I believe that you take 13 because you have uncanny dodge or something, don't you? Yeah. I forget what the name Half. of the abilities are. Um, this one is... Give me one second. Uh, I think it'd be Evasion. Oh, Evasion. Uh, so okay. so ev Evasion halves damage from AoE attacks, doesn't it? And then... Yeah. There we go. So, you get zapped a little bit. You're a li you, you manage to avoid the worst of it, for sure. But you do get a little bit, a little bit crispy. There was a little vial inside the lid. Um, so that as you lifted the chest, it kind of pulled the stopper out of a little bottle. And then a, a precast. There's a little, a tiny little fireball spell scroll in there, which just kind of goes off and the fire launches out from under the lid. Um, Luckily, though, um, it's been designed in such a way that you can open the chest and fireball yourself without damaging the contents of the box, which is uh, which is what you want from a um, a fireball trap. Magical shaped charges. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I've just invented Some... a new science. So when I peer into this chest. Gingerly and smoking, a little bit of embers coming off me. Do I see anything interesting? Do you see anything interesting? Well, that would be telling. Um, I am going to do this randomly. There we go. There's some there's some treasure in there. 70 electron pieces and 50 gold pieces. So there's actually a fair bit of gold in there. There are also, however, because you were supposed to come at this from the other direction, but as all DMs know, uh, if if it's possible to go the wrong way, the party will. Because um, <laughs> you kind of went into the main chamber through the back door. Um, this this would have been the conspicuous place where everyone goes. Oh oh look, here's a treasure chest just uh, just before a big door. So <laughs> um, inside are um, a number of potions of healing. But we don't want mm. normal potions of healing anymore, do we? Oh, hello. We would like some improved potions of healing. Um, and I cannot remember what the various different levels of potions of healing Gr are. Uh, great, greater, superior, and oh, I forgot what the, the top level one is now off the top of my head. Why can't you forget the bottom one and just remember the top one? Because most campaigns don't get to the point where you need the, uh, the top one. Um... It's healing, greater, superior, and one other unforgettable one. Ah, well, these are potions of greater healing. Ooh, hello. Oh, and I've just typed four, and actually I meant to type five. So, uh, we'll wreck on that as five. Five potions of greater healing. That's not four plus five, that is just five. <laughs> cool. But yes, uh, potions of greater healing offer um, twice as much healing as normal potions of healing. 4d4 four four plus 4. Indeed. So I'll pick them up and I'll go and hand them out. So hope it is worth it. Oh. While I'm sneaking away. Yeah. We're going to have to do, um, add, a, add a new thingy on our character sheets. Yeah, so that mm. that is a fair point. Um, well, we'll, do, we'll do that later. Yeah. So yeah, we don't want to do don't want to do that right now. That'll involve me fiddling about with character sheets and swearing a lot. So, um, okay, where to okay. next, folks? Well, uh, obviously, Boren to pick up his axe. Um, should we go to there? Uh, I see, I probably can't where? see it. Yeah, yeah, I I just zoomed out, so you're about. Yeah. So we head to head towards the northeast. So if we just go down back to the statue area, we can go round, can't we? <laughs> oh, I've nicked I've nicked the um, the pig. I didn't want to nick the pig. 
Oh, hold on. I can probably make it so that you can't... There we go. I'll take away your ability to control the pig. And that... All right, guess it looks like you all have seen parts of the map that I haven't, so you should pick where we go because no, I think I think if we if we work round, then um, you'll you'll get there anyway. Okay. Are you stuck in a wall, Chris? No, you managed to get out. That's fine. Just wait for everyone else. Is this door shut? Um, oh, I don't remember. Ryan. Oh no. Hello. Yeah, uh, head, head south. Sorry, it's just down a little bit. No worries, mate. No worries. You, you've got you've got um, bits of your drugs, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to carry up this corridor. I'm going to sneak up to these next side doors. I think you guys have been there. Yeah, it's it's, it's just heading up back towards the the, the north northeast. That's where we're we going. But uh, we're going up here. I, I've I've lost you now, mate. So up. So yeah. Um, up where those four chambers are. Yeah. Well. Uh, let, uh, let's wait till everyone's back to uh, back together. Yep. It looks to me like the upper right, we've been through the whole thing. We just didn't walk down into the bottom right room. Yeah, well, uh, um, there was just that top right. There may be stuff. Like I said, uh, if if any of your um, your your uh, people need to stay here for, for safety, this is an option. Oh, my good God, that's ugly. Oh, he's back. Hello. Oh, that's changed everybody around. Okay, well. How far are we from the break? Hmm. Well, I will... Oh, Michael's gone off again. Okay, everyone's back in there. Everyone's back in their right places. So... Okay. Um, shall I unmute Michael now? Sounds like he's home. Yep. Okay. So, Michael is now unmuted. Leave your camera off for a minute, mate, and uh, we you can turn it on during the break, and I'll rearrange the uh, rearrange the camera. Uh, what's yeah. it? So, uh, I have a secret suspicion, though. I still have access to the secret map. Uh, is it that? Um, well, you... there's only a very a small game. there's only a very small portion of this map that the party has not seen. So. Well, um, when I've been in control of yours, I haven't seen anything different to what we haven't already explored, so... So, um, do we do we go to the the, uh, the northeast and then work our way back down to do the southeast? Okay. You know what? Deep is just striking out. Aha! Is there anything on the ceiling that wants to jump on me? <laughs> Give us a perception roll. He's stuck embedded in the wall. Uh, I think I think Michael's saying Boring's stuck in the wall. Yeah, I've I've just pulled him out of the wall. Okay. Thank you. You look, you look up. And in uh, in in the best traditions of, uh, of of horror movies, you're like, what if there's something on the ceiling? You look up, your eyes sweep the ceiling, expecting at any minute for the jaws of death to fall upon you, and there's nothing. All right. So I think our friend Pontos was down here, but let's explore. Bit overboard, but thank you, Okay, well, if that is, this looks um, okay now, so. 
we could then just go back through and uh, clear the last area out, I guess. Yeah, this door is closed. I guess I'll just go ahead and... Okay. Guys, get down here. Yeah, I'm sorry, the map's uh, freezing on me a little bit here. Uh, I'm getting real lag issues on the map at the moment. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yes, yeah, I. Where are you? Hey, um, I've, I've, just, I've, I've just pinged. Joe just appeared. Okay. And who are we, who are we missing? Borin, Borin's a, a little bit behind, but he will catch up, no doubt. So... Zoom in the big map a little bit. Ah, uh, I'm getting up. I'm stuck. Can you help me, please? Oh, that's He's stuck on a ball. Why are you stuck? Let's move you. There we go. Was that okay. me or did you do that? No, I did it. I just got... I got stuck on the door. Ah. Everyone's getting stuck in the walls. There have been some slight changes to the way light walls work, so it may have interfered with my um, with the way my walls are set up. But either way, right, looking at the wreckage in here, I think this was where Pontos was earlier. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. And the fact that there's blood stains and not oil stains that that mm. is from before I managed to fix it, so that the well, I think I so think the where me bled. I think where me and Deke were was where um, Pontos managed to just throw an axe and kill one um, as he was... As he was fleeing away. <laughs> oh, that was very heroic. That was some weeks ago. Okay. So my guess is behind here, dusty room, nothing in it. And if there's a chest, there's not a fireball trap. <laughs> wow, that's how You can cool. open it next time. I don't know why you guys are so worried about fireball traps. Oh, the light from Deep's glowing shield falls falls on the uh, the the dusty emptiness of the room, and with dust upon it, as if it has stood there motionless as a statue for some time, you see a clockwork abomination, which immediately stands up a little bit, shaking reels of dust from its carapace. Um, you also hear from further inside the room the clanking of other clockwork things. Um, I am going to get you guys to roll for initiative again. Deep is ready for battle. Excellent. Glad to hear it. Cleric at the rear. Okay, so let's... There may be some things in the turn order that you can't see, so do not jump too quickly to do things. Uh, I will give you a shout. Um, so Borin is actually the first to react, so what would Borin like to do? Borin's right at the front, so he's ready for action. Let's, let's... Yeah, I can't actually see anything yet. Open the door. <laughs> let's try and get a good yeah, yeah. old view. You should have plenty of light spilling from yeah. Deep's magic shield. Okay, yep. No, no, it's both because the second door was blocking my view. Um, well, first of all, second wind. Um, then, uh, I'm just gonna hand back 
We'll keep them in the bottleneck here, guys. So this way only two of them can get, come at us at one go, if there is more than two of them. You know I'm probably There's just going to go through, right? Please, for the love of God, don't. <laughs> I'm not dodging that pig again. <laughs> well, you've, you've, been, you, you've, yes, been give, you've, you've been given warning. You may <laughs> want to move. <laughs> <laughs> move, bitch. Get out of the way. What happened there? I don't know. The M started rolling in twenty. Yeah. Okay. Well, never mind. That was that was not meant to happen. So, have no fear. Um, Boren Colfoot is here. So Boren Colfoot uh, throws a hand axe. Uh, can you drop a hand axe for us, please, Boren, so we can pop it on the map? Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I'm just finishing off the first second throw. Ah, okay. There's one. There's another one. Good job. So, hand axes lie in the dust in front of the clockwork abomination as it bleeds I, oil in place of blood. And I'm just going to hug the wall. Put my back to the wall. Out the way. Uh, okay. Exciting stuff. So... Um... The DM cool. clicks through things and reaches Kararook. Cool. cool. So I'm just going to walk down here. I'm going to use my bone attack. This chap here. No sneak attack, no advantage. So... Oh, oh, no! So, the confusion I'm spell, confused. you had to roll on a table when it's your next turn. Um, so, Mr. DM? Yarth? Where am I in this turn order? I rolled a 15. You rolled... You, are, you appear not to be there. Did you perhaps um, roll your initiative without clicking your token first? Um, I, it's the only way I would have got my initi the initiative button at the top by clicking on myself. Yeah, well, I don't know what happened there, but there you are. 15, okay, no. you're, you're, ready, you're ready to go after Kararook. Kararook is now confused, having somehow done a number on himself. Um, let's Can see, I do we have step a confused backwards? Button? Oh, I don't know, you're confused now. I don't know, what does that mean? Well, that means that on your next turn... Okay. That means on your next turn you have to roll a d10 for us to decide... Um, what you do how confused how confused you are you might be so confused that you um, attack all your friends with a uh, with your longbow well not all of them because you can only fire one bow one arrow at a time but so confused uh, Kararook um, must cede the floor to Char mm -hmm. okay. well I'm just going to sidestep over to here um, making sh so that way I am definitely not in front of the pig. <laughs> I respect the pig. I have dodged that thing far too many times. And uh, just give some hope of trying to take this thing out bef and let it blow up while it's still far away from us. Did you just hit uh, twice in a row? Well, that's four times today seeing her on a row. Wow. I, and one of those was a crit. What's that? Yeah, you, well, you did two crits in a row, didn't you? It was impressive yeah. work. Rarely have I seen such effective... <laughs> Warlocking. Uh, warlocking. Um, <laughs> okay, so that's a couple of zaps from Char. Uh, any movement? Staying where you are for now? I've just moved to the other side, well clear of Chewbacca, so no or minimal yeah. chance of getting trampled. Very sensible. Okay, we move on to um, an unseen presence in the darkness. So, let me check a thing before I do a thing. 
That arrow is not supposed to be visible, but apparently it is. <laughs> okay, so the clockwork abomination steps forward. Interview. It cannot reach anybody, so it does not um, step further in. We move on to the one that's already damaged. He is going to uh, step over the um, the tossed axes into melee range. He uh, tantalizingly stays back ten feet, but can still hit you. <laughs> he says in uh, in clockwork. So here comes a bite. Who shall be bitten? Uh, I think. Oh, Deep just gave a thumbs up. That means he uh, he's volunteering to be bitten. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, it's a miss. The bite always misses. So far, statistically, the slam always hits. So. Yeah, I knew that. That's why I volunteered for the bite. Very sensible. Okay, this one is for camera rook. Oh. Awesome. Okay, so... Uh, I'm just bumbling around, bumping into things, and... Just miss me. So don't dump, jump in yet, just yet. Things beyond your ken, maybe moving about. Um... And yet again, something you cannot see, maybe moving about. Was that Scottish? Well, that's DM. That's DM Scottish, which is two two ranks below um, amateur actors Scottish. Um, <laughs> I'm going to play a dwarf next time, just so I can put on my proper Scottish accent. For sure. <laughs> yeah, oh, how does Scott? feel about the fact that dwarves are all Scottish for some reason. I have no idea why that is. You know, I think it's maybe because we can drink a lot and we're quite straightforward. Well, the it, there's, always, there's also the, the um, thought process that uh, drow should have Australian accents because both Australians and drows uh, li live down under and are surrounded by deadly animals. <laughs> um... <laughs> um <laughs> I, I think like it's that. because Scottish live in the mountains, and you know, obviously, dwarves are considered mountain dwellers. Okay, yeah, yeah. Crikey, look at that roper! I wonder what happened if I stick my thumb right up. Yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick my thumb in his butt. I'll really piss him off. <laughs> Where was that from? South Park. South Park. Yeah. Oh, anyway, yeah, on to Parkos. <laughs> I, I, I think it must be it must be the Fellowship of the Ring which cemented the Scottish dwarf thing. It must be. It's definitely Tolkien, anyway. Okay. All right, I, yeah. I think you know where this is going, right? Yep, mm -hmm. I'm fine with it. Okay, let's have deck saves from Carrow Rook and Deep. Um, I'm up against the wall. You do whatever you like. Um, not usually the Welsh. Um, hobbits are normally uh, southwestern, aren't they? Yeah, cider drinkers. Very good. Carrow Rook and Deep have uh, clearly so, had practice when it comes to <laughs> diving out of the way of a charging pig. So, so um, it's I've happened enough times. Uh, what's the question? I, I'm confused. Oh, so does that no save then. No chance. Um, I'll tell you oh, what, let's. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll give you a chance. We will have a look at the confusion spell, and I will check. Can I try and pull him roll. out of the way. Um, possibly. Roll, uh, but if you try to pull him out of the way, uh, can I have a, a D10 roll f uh, for Kararuk, just to see what your behaviour comes out like? Two. The creature doesn't move or take actions. Ooh. So, um, possibly <laughs> for the first time ever, the rogue is going to get shoulder barged by the uh, the charging pig. So, um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna call that a uh, just a. It's not massive. That's just gonna be. Okay, one point of damage, and, right. you are, and you are knocked prone. But other than that, you are fine. Um, so Pontos and. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> So, good old smack with the tusks of terror, the uh, the mighty tusks of torment. Jesus! Okay. <laughs> so immediately, I got to ask you, um, can you give me um, uh, two dexterity saves, please? Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, okay. So I'm getting to roll a lot of d6s today. That's ten, ten points each. So allow me ten points off of Pontos, ten points off the pig, and let me make those uh, virtual dice disappear. I should turn those off, shouldn't I? Because then they wouldn't keep popping up, and I wouldn't have to keep getting rid of them. Um, it all makes yeah, but perfect the sense. Is like to see Sorry. It's a good effect for the YouTubers to see. Is it? I don't know, but I have to click the mouse to make them go away, otherwise they just stay there forever. I don't know. If you're watching and you have an opinion, leave a comment. And while you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. And hit that little oh. notification bell. Do all oh those dear. things. Oh, oh, I, oh, you sit, oh, you, do you feel dirty oh, saying I feel that? so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Let's really change the subject quickly, Michael. If you notice, you've got one charge in your ring around because I only rolled a one for the, on the D three. Ah, uh, thank you. Um, but just nothing. Now that yeah, you've been but, blown, oh, oh, before I forget, so just, yeah, just make sure you, you saw that was all. Yeah. Uh, before I forget, um, you still have possibly. Do you have any more movement left after that? Um, I ran twenty foot, so I was here. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you've. Oh, I mean, potentially you've still got some movement left and you've got an attack left. So um, so if you like, for flavour, you can be charging through the flames of an exploding abomination at the next one, if you like. Yep. <laughs> it's like that bit out of Avengers where it explodes and then you just see the slow-mo of the hero coming through. <laughs> no, it's just the Batman. <laughs> when he's in the Batmobile. Um. Yes. Yes. And another crit! Oh my goodness! The crits are coming thick and fast. There are the crits. And okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, this isn't helping, cat. Uh, yeah, this is really not helping. So is that right? Uh, so we're on Pontos. Pontos is on number eight. Uh, okay. Uh, anything else from Pontos? No, thank you. Okay. It's very confusing having uh, turn orders with... Uh, in, uh, with I'm not saying anything. Um, so. Dropping from the ceiling next to Pontos is a clockwork mantis. He uh, falls down from his precarious perch on the ceiling. I just assumed that robot's gender. Um, apologies. I'm... You What's that? <laughs> you bastard. You bastard. Oh, no. Um, but the Clockwork Mantis is now going to um, demonstrate its great love for pigs by um, making two serrated blade attacks, which is what it does. Um... Here's one. One for Pontos. In fact, they're all for Pontos. Ow! Whoa. Damn! Oh, okay. And then, because he hit you with both serrated blades, possibly for the first time ever, he is now going to try from a a, a mantis, slightly creepy, huggy position with, with claws involved. 
and uh, spiky bits, he is now going to try and eat your head. Um, In that case, that thing is female then. I mean, it can't loot drop its weapon, but it mm -hmm. certainly does not succeed in biting um, in biting your head off. So, uh, call it a win, I guess. Um, on to deep. Okay. Um, 10, 20. Okay, I'll go there. And I'm going to lightning bolt. So it hits this guy. And I think it should also hit that guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can draw a line so it'll go through both, that is for sure. Um, can we do it without hitting Pontos? I'm sure we can. But I, I could be a pedant and uh, and use the range ruler just in case. Where has my range ruler gone? I've lost my range ruler. What the hell? Is this... Oh! I've literally lost the range ruler. Where's it gone? That's very odd. Okay. It's the button has shrunk on my uh, on my toolbar, but yeah, you definitely can. You can do it without hitting Pontos, and that is uh, I, I mean that's only a secondary consideration, of course. But DC seventeen, oof. So group check, dexterity DC of seventeen, twenty six points. Of lightning damage save uh, half on a save both pass but oh. I tell you what being as these are both uh, electric entities um, I am gonna give them full damage what's uh, right That'll teach them to be robots. Yeah, that'll teach you, you little fuckers. Um, so, 23, half of 23 is 11. So, I want to take off 12, because then that will be the whole amount. There we go. So, you see them kind of um, uh, shaking and vibrating as the electricity passes through their metal bodies. Um and uh, the sparks are flying, the sparks are showering Pontos and uh, uh, Chew Bacon, but um, luckily they are unharmed. Anything else from Deep? Uh, that's it. Okay. Um, on to Borin. Borin Coalfoot, son of the mountains. Okay, I have a quick question. Uh oh. If. I went into combat, hit it with my ring of ram. It's technically being pushed five feet away from me. Does that mean I get an attack of opportunity? No, it's no. only if it's movement. Damn. Okay. <sighs> Same with if you did telekinesis or any any kind of force movement. It's only it doesn't count. Yeah, in, involuntary movement doesn't count, does it? So any any time you're forced away. Um, <laughs> You don't get the attack of opportunity any time someone tries to walk away or run away, then they do. I am going to delete these dead things to tidy up the map. Oh, there's only one. Only one dead thing. Okay, then. Right. I am going to... Great. I'm going to action surge as well, so I'm going to take four swings at this beastie. Uh, and if we could get a bless coming in anytime soon, because I have a feeling we're going to get exploding again. Bam. You know what? One. Ah, oh, what am I getting? If only there was a plus three weapon in our stores that you could use. Or... Oh. Or even that plus two magic bone sword. <laughs> I tell you what, with these numbers, it would still be missing. But yeah. I'm staying in character, guys, and I'm gonna say, if it ain't dwarf. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, finally. That was a that was a a series. What is that? that what is that? Epic. What's that book called? Is it a series of unfortunate events? Series, but, <laughs> unfortunate events. Yeah. That was a series of unfortunate events. If ever I saw them. Um, anything else for Borin? I need a D twelve and I get a one. No, that's it. That's all I got. Ready okay. to repost. Oh, someone's got to miss you first. Um, okay, so uh, don't jump on it too quick. Let me hit the button. From the ceiling, there drops <coughs> another thingamajig. Oh, uh, God, damn it. Another thingamajig. Another thingamajig. So uh, it is going to see whether it can get any of its serrated arms into deep. I can't even see this, that thingamajig. That was yeah. rude. You had to go charging in. Yeah. We could have bottlenecked them. Oh. You gotta give them a chance. You gotta give them a chance. Yeah. Need a bit of fun. So, another creature appears from behind a pillar. Um, can yes. he? Can he get anywhere where he can do anything? With a 15 foot reach? Yeah, he can! Oh, God, a what? Okay, the clockwork abomination reaches out uh, first with a bite. The bites always seem to miss. Maybe this is maybe his luck will change though. <laughs> oh, that's a nibble, a, a nibble of Pontos. Then a slam to follow up for the pig. Oof. Okay, on to camera rook. Um, because oh. I'm still confused. So this is this is your round of confusion, isn't it? So mm -hmm. please roll mm -hmm. me a d10, and we will see okay. uh, what the future has in store for you. You rolled a nine. That Very means gone. that you can act completely normally, as if you were not confused <laughs> awesome. at all. So basically, your confusion is null and void. Um, you may spend half of your movement to stand up. Cool. But otherwise. I'll stand up. Yeah. Otherwise, you are unrestricted. Cool. And then, can I still attack? Mm. Cool. Um, who can I see? Give me a second. Just check and see if I've got a straight line of sight. There's a bit of a fur ball in front of you. Yeah, I'm going to have to move over here and then use my Longbow. This chap. Which one? Sorry, can you give us a ping? One that burns attacking. Oh, yeah, okay. Cool. Because that's all I can see. Fair enough. Uh, no, standard. Rook, what do your elf eyes see? Not much, it's really dark. <laughs> oh. oh, pain. Oh. Oh. Is Karak permanently healed from confusion? Pardon? I'm just saying, is Karak perfectly healed from confusion? Has he got over it? Uh, no. Yes, he has. Well, effectively, oh. effectively oh. yes, because um, that entry on the fumble table means you suffer the effects of the confusion spell for one round. This would have been that round. Ah, the, on, on the confusion spell, you roll a d10, and if you roll a 9 or 10, you get to act and move normally. So... So basically, uh, he was fine. Uh, anything else from Kararook? Uh, I'm just going to move back one. Okay. Now, baby. Oh, should I shut the door? <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least at least <laughs> let Char fireball them all first. <laughs> yeah, fireball. <laughs> okay, so can we go? 20 feet forward, just look at the situation. <laughs> hmm. It's quite a bit here. And I'm... You, you see in his hand just this ball ball of fly, and he just sort of can, squashes it sort of in, into the palm of his hand, and he's just going to kneel down and slam it into the ground. So I'm going to do one of my um, spell slot fireballs. Oh, a big one. Yes. And I'm going to... Da, 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 da. 
I'm going to put it there. Um, just let's just come on. Uh, so yeah, I only get two of them. Okay, so um, yeah, push, okay. The, push the button. Let's uh, yeah, let's see it. I'd, so this will come out as a as a should should be ten d uh, ten d six now. Yeah, it sounds about right. And, uh, there it goes. Um, you can be the uh, the target. There we go, level five. That that is as high as you can you can cast. I think, isn't it level five? Mm. Uh, yeah. Um, and I'll make the mantis the hot shot for an extra four. Cool. Um, but that's uh, tw well, that's quite low for ten d ten d six, unfortunately. But uh, that's DC sixteen deck saves on the pair of them. Cool. Right, group jack coming up. DC sixteen. And... A serious question: Is this the first fireball that you've actually cast that's not actually hit me? Oh, I. I, I... I, I can I reposition it. But, well, the thing is, you seem to be finding your own fireballs. I don't have to cast them now. <laughs> That's true. True. There ooh, we what's go. In this they, they both failed. They're both quite badly damaged. So, oh, that's that's nice. That's uh, fifty-eight, sixty-two. Oh, that's very nice. Cool. Anything else from uh, Char? Oh, um, uh, the hot shot was for the mantis. Is that right? Yeah, for, for another four. That's four. Okay. Cool. So the mantis is looking extremely ropey. And I'll just take a couple of steps backwards just to give uh, plenty of room for the others to swing. Cool. And I will leave it at that. Okay. This clockwork abomination here is going to try and bite Pontos. When we get to the end of this round, do we uh, um, then have a comfort break? Yes. Uh, that, was, that was my thought. Um, and... Oh, blimey. Okay. So. Um, that was that one. And can I count? One, two. Uh. Okay. Then. On to Pontos. Second wind, just a um, normal. Is that an action or is that just a. You can just do it. Second wind, bonus action. Okay. I is going to do one of those. Hmm. Sensible. Two seconds. Hold back, man. We've got ball like this. Come on. I just. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just click the button and it should automatically do it. Oh, I have a button for it. It's me looking on my sheet for it. Oh, cool. that, that was low. Yeah. I rolled a one. Oh, well, shit happens. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's go for this. It's what you call a kill still. That's cool setting up. Oh. <laughs> uh, Okay, well, I don't know why it didn't work. Um, must check that one. But that was, in fact, a kill. So, oh, no. um, so good news, everybody. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will have some dexterity saves, please. Ah, uh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I've just realised I have Indomitable, so I could have re-rolled one of those, but I haven't needed so far. Oh shit! Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's, it's only a once once a uh, long rest, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, we just done long rest, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can I reroll, please? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Um, 
So you're re rolling for Pontos? Yeah. Out of shit, anyway. Yeah, uh, it's still a fail, I'm afraid. So here comes some fire for you. Um, and that, that uh, abomination behind the pillar probably needs it as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll, uh, he will take his turn. And that's why I'm not teacher's pet uh, today, Nate, because I'm saying things like that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, he fails. Okay, so he takes some damage. And sadly, both Pontos and... Uh, both Pontos and bloody hell, what's that pick called? Chew Bacon. Chew. Take some damage. They're both looking extraordinarily beaten up. However, they have defeated another Clockwork Abomination. Um, we move on. Oh, sorry. Anything else from Pontos nah. and Chew Bacon? Would you like to move? No. Nah. No? Okay. On to Deep for the last thing before the break. Okay. I'll make sure this takes a long time then. <laughs> oh, okay. the mighty mayonnaise is here. Hell yeah. Standard. Uh, damn it. I think I might suck enough at attack rolls now that I. We'll see. Oh, what the hell? Um, I, I don't know. There we go. I just accidentally... Take well done. I just accidentally started the slideshow. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, go away. Right, it's gone away. So, that was... Oh, that's quite good. That was 16 <laughs> points of damage against a uh, Clockwork Mantis. Good job. And, oh, I know what's happened. It's accidentally transferred to the other window. Anyway, I will fix that. Uh, let's reconvene uh, in about ten minutes' time, uh, just before half past. I will try and do some jiggery pokery with the cameras, and uh, and then we can continue. Excellent. No worries. Cool. See you in a bit. Be to you later. Yes. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> And we're back in the room. Welcome back, everybody, to the second part of episode 16 of Into the Jaws of Death. We are mid-combat. 
So without further ado, we hand over to Borin Colfort. Borin Colfort, and he's... Tell you what, now that I have Indomitable, I'm not as afraid as, uh, as taking that. So, can I... Quick question, can I squeeze between here and Shubakin? Um, I can go around either way, it's just I'm just cute. I, oh. I would describe that as difficult terrain. You would probably be better off 15, going a more direct route. 30, there we go. Or, or a right. less direct route, I should say. There we go. Okay, in and... Great... Plus one, great giant standing axe. I still haven't come across a single giant. So this is definitely a weapon that I'm going to be switching out when I find something good dwarfish. Yeah, I'm afraid your DM just isn't that excited by giants, so... He's not big on them. I'm so surprised there wasn't mm. a good uh, weapon in the horde. The dwarf horde. Maybe oh. the, the, all, all the key weapons that are in the, uh, in the base in the mountain. Mm-hmm. I, I would blame the uh, blame the DMG for that because I use random tables. Uh, the only reason I did it off screen is because I wanted the power of veto in case suddenly you ended up with the the staff of, of uh, <laughs> meteor of calling or something. There's a staff oh, of major and the holy avenger. You should still have the discretion of putting things that you know make sense to be there. I mean, dwarves don't really use magic in like that often. Well, that's why there's yeah. hardly any magic items there, and there's lots of gold. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. I know you were hoping okay, for more magic it. items, but I actually did a bit of a, a count up of magic items, and you guys have shit tons. So, so. okay, let's sell some of those. <laughs> so, uh, any, any anything else for Borin? Is Borin done for now? Oh, that's it. That's it. Cool. Right. Clockwork Praying Mantis of Doom facing off against the Mighty Mayonnaise and Deep. Here comes a serrated blade. We have one uh, miss. Oh, well. One miss. I get that one. Yeah. One miss, one hit. Don't want to depress his spirits too much before I beat him to death. <laughs> oh, well, it only got one arm round you, so it cannot go in for the kiss. Um, on to Clockwork Abomination number 14. He is going to, uh, well, see what he can do for Borin. Uh, oh, little beastie. One miss. And repost. Oh, I knew that was coming. Oh, well. Yeah. You see, it doesn't take unless you make a point of pronouncing the T. I, I said the T. Repost. Okay. Well, it... Just a moment. You see, you see the... the uh, you rolled high. The, the oracles didn't hear you. Repost. Um, you were, you were close. Close, but no cigar. Oh. Um, and here comes the slam. <laughs> See, the, sl the slam is clearly a far more successful attack. Um, I would... When 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 Clockwork Abomination version 2.0 comes out, I'll say, no, don't bother with the biting. It just doesn't work. On to camera, Rook. Oh. Yes. Um... I still can't see this beastie where uh, there's a see pillar it. in the way, so you're unlikely to get a good line of sight on him uh, unless you enter the room. Do you know what? I am. But before I do that, I'm going to do something. Let me show you what I'm going to do. He's going to do a thing. I'm going to do a funky thing that I've not done yet. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll be pretty cool. So, <laughs> I am going to, which my character sheet was. Oh. D, 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 D. Let me put this in the chat. 
I'm going to touch myself and make myself invisible. And why not? Yeah. So let's put an invisibility marker on you. And a concentration marker for that matter. Here we go. Have you have you been reading my, my spell book again, Carrick? I have. When you're sleeping, I'm just peeking into it and having a little look around. But you can't even see me. You just hear this voice talking back. I'm invisible. So, no, it's it's just... since, since I can't see him, if he's in the blast zone, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I've got uh... a really invis... Oh, okay. I was about to say, I can actually see his token, so he's not that invisible. Uh... Okay. So, one, two, three. So, I can move here. Because I'm invisible, I get advantage and sneak attack and everything. Yes. Oh, so... All right, but actually, I'm, I'm actually. But casting a spell is an action. So, teacher's pet, teacher's <laughs> pet. <laughs> oh, yep. And you had your bow right. out. You had your bow out as well. You're gonna have to drop it on I the floor. Know. I don't need to anymore. I, oh. I'm invisible. I'm just gonna go there, see what's happening. Ooh. Go. Ooh. There's a little monster, but he can't even see me because I'm invisible. Is because I can't do anything. Are you going to change your loadout? or? Uh... I can actually do that while I'm invisible, can I? So that's another action. Uh, you can interact with an object uh, once per turn. And uh, my house rule is that it's a free action to drop anything that's already in your hand. Just So you could drop All your right. bow and take out a melee weapon if you want. Um, obviously you can't yeah. do anything with it yet. Okay, I'll drop my bow. Uh -huh. Consider I'll your drop bow dropped. Bow. And then I'm waiting here because I can't do anything. Cool. Uh, here we go. On to Char. Okay. So, um, 5, 15, mm. I'm going to go to there and try and deal with this abomination at range because the um, cause the other one, the Mantis one, we, we we haven't seen any of those blow up, but these abominations we do, so it's like they need to be dealt with at arm's reach. Sensible. Oh, Charles' first miss of the night, I think. Yeah, but um, yeah, he's had a good run so far, so I can't really complain too much. Yeah, he's been doing pretty well. And then I'll just take a step uh, uh, it was there. And uh, that's that's me done for now. Just uh, oh, I, I, hopefully I distracted him if nothing else. Cool. Okay, on to Pontos. Pontos right. is a little, a little on the weak side, shall we say? It is merely a scratch. Choose <laughs> your it is target. a flesh wound. Shoot bacon. All right, I'm just going to send. I'm going to jump off and send you bacon. Oh, I'm very sorry. Allow me to remove that token lock. Why didn't the token lock affect Char? That's weird. Ah, oh, it's because it was his. It's because it was his turn, you see. It's set up so that you can move your token if it's your turn. Ugh. Ugh. I'm going to throw a hand axe. Okay. It's going to be it, to be honest. Mm-hmm. You could throw a second one if you got it. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, can I do a second one before I end? Yeah. 
I've changed the colour of yours so we can tell the difference. Not that it really matters. <laughs> I'm magic. Kiss on. This is true. Okay. Um, anything else from Pontos? Nah. Okay, on to deep. <coughs> Who's taken damage? Obviously, Pontos has. Boren, have you taken much? Uh, I'm on 59%. Okay. I'm on three. Uh, Out of 100. So I'm. I, I've got 100 HP total, so I, when I'm on percentage. This is the one time until I level up I can give you a percentage. <laughs> okay. Um, and is Chew Bacon down? Uh, no, he has 11. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. Measuring tool. Sorry, this is taking so long. It's uh, good. There. And there. Okay. I'm going to cast my new spell, Mass Cure Wounds. Um, oh. So 3d8 plus spell casting modifier plus restore hit points to a creature, 2 plus a spell's level. So 3d8 plus 12 to everyone. I think I'm just going to roll once. Good job. I need to make you a new power card for that, don't I? Um, so, 28 hit points to everybody. Yep, yeah, and uh, you get some back as well, don't you? So, so allow me to give some hit points to all the people you are zapping. Is that everybody? Oh, sorry, I misspoke. I meant everybody I targeted. So, Deep, Pontos, Boren, and Chew Bacon. Okay. So... Oh, he targets himself? Okay, so... so There's up to six creatures in the radius oh. of the sphere, so... So, so okay, well that means that uh, Deep is on full hit points, so the Blessed Healer thing doesn't make any difference. Um, and... Oh, so the idea... I know it's... So you cast it, and it's anywhere within 30, so I cast it, like, down here. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, makes sense. And, uh, and then... Also, Borin gets 28 as well. So, that is Pontos, Borin, and Chewbacon, and Deep. They all get uh, some hit points back. Um, if you were here, you would you would be... You would be in range of Kararook as well. So, do you want to do everybody that you can? No, I'm mad at him for tricking me into going at the chest earlier. Ah, also, he's invisible, so... I am invisible. Yeah, so you don't know... Yeah, you don't know where he is to heal him. <laughs> okay, I'm going to I give it the old male whack, and that's it for me. Cool. Oh, white, white stuff splashes everywhere. <laughs> um, well, definitely securing the support of, uh, award with that. Oh... It should be. It should be. It should just be called the uh, cleric award. The, the, the cleric award. But um, <laughs> on to Borin. It's only a contest. If a, if a party's got a bard and a cleric, then there's competition. Well, no, no. Char gets it on the occasion when he really blows stuff up. Um, do you have a, have another go, Borin? Because you did see that with advantage. Oh yeah. Um, All right. Okay. So okay, we've so, that, so we've got. Yeah. You've done two. So so we'll call that one, one attack with advantage. with advantage. Just do the next one with advantage. That yeah, that that works out. Yeah. I'm really surprised we have we haven't gone blessed yet, uh, and that's. Real, I mean, I can't throw all the way over there. Well, he could have gone blessed, if, uh, but then you would have, um, like, Pontos and that could have been on, on um, dead, so I think the healing's probably okay. better than the blessed. 
That's fine. Um, tell you what, this is the last monster in the last bit of here, so I am going to do a disadvantage offhand strike. On this With what? Guy. Oh, are you going to throw an axe? Yeah. Okay. Throw, but it's a disadvantage. I did it last time, so let's, uh, let's see if I can do it again. Cool. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Duff right. man is in the house. Um, please, can I have dexterity <laughs> saves for Borin and Chew Bacon? Oh, hang on. It's only rolled it the once. Did it roll it twice? Or did it roll it once? Roll what once? Uh, well, no, I would have thought it would have had both results for the disadvantage. Yeah, this yeah. Says... You, you just have to hover over hand axe attack in the chat. And it was it shows okay. you that you rolled 14 for each one. So you... you... Oh, that's right. Okay. Dexterity, did you say? Yes, please. And I have it, and I'm going to use my indomitable advantage. Um, it, don't you just use it uh, for a re-roll if you fail? Why not just yeah. take the roll and then re-roll oh, yeah, if you need to? Point. That is a point. If you roll a one next, then I'll shut up. Oh, okay. Nice. So, <laughs> so here comes forty-six points of fire damage from an exploding monstrosity. Uh, abomination monstrosity same thing 14 so that is 14 on chew bacon sorry boy and 14 on Borin. Um, I am just straight up 5 10 15 20 20 there I've got to go around you 25 come on move there we go 30 Boom. Okay. Going everywhere. Anything else from Boren? I'm guessing that's probably his, uh, his last That's bit. it. That's all I've got. Okay. Oh, conveniently within range of the giant mantis. Here comes... Yes, with a reaction in my... Uh, in my oh, in my belt. he's got a reaction, eh? Oh, no! Make sure the oracles can hear you pronounce the T. Repost, 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 repost. Okay, might work then. One, I am going through these so fast today. Uh... <laughs> okay, here comes the other serrated blade of doom. Aha! And because he only got one hit, he doesn't get to go in for the snog. But um, this poor clockwork mantis finds himself alone amongst many enemies, at least one of which is invisible. Um, so, camera rook. I think I'm going to enjoy this invisibility spell. So I'm going to walk up. And I'm going to attack him. Uh, with my ice tiger. Boom, boom, boom. So you have both advantage and sneak attack. Advantage. This is where I fumble. Go on. Go. Oof. That was a lot of damage. That was almost a crit. That was one off a crit. Awesome. Um... And with, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm done. Now I'm going to move back one. No one can see me anyway. Well, you're visible now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Attacking oh. removes the spell until you learn greater invisibility, of course. Uh, oh. All right. So I just can you appear in front of everyone and go, all right, lads. And I'm going to move back a couple. And leave it. So. <sighs> Shall I let him have it for not saying the words? <laughs> I think you should. Yes. Yep. Okay. Attack of opportunity. 
Oh. You didn't say the words, man. You have to say the words. I said it. All right. How the heck do you beat a creature with a greater invisibility? You can't see it, even if um, it you, you know, Tremor sense. Um, uh, there's a true true sight. Um, you you can do a ca uh, dispel magic. Um, null zones. Yeah, but if you're like a standard fighter with no magic, like if you're a fighter, if you're a barbarian, mm -hmm. if you're uh, any sort of ranger. Attack of disadvantage and perception rolls. Yeah, if you have some idea where they are, all it does okay. is impose disadvantage. So, oh. it's not actually that bad. Um, okay, on to Char. Okay. Well, just seeing uh, Carrick appear, um, pop out of uh, the ether like that, it's like, well, if, if you want to do that again, I, I, I can do it to a couple of you if you need to, but it's better for scouting than... Uh, that, but uh... mm, cool. You read it from my book. <laughs> How can you, Did you, you just shoot what? yourself? <laughs> I. <laughs> that, that was excellent. How? I, I clicked on the, the thingy. Mm. Yeah. I whatever. <laughs> okay. That, that must so, be the fumble of fumbles. Uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> 20, 28 would have been a hit. Um, that was 13 points of damage. Um, despite the fact that you accidentally inflicted it upon yourself, <laughs> that would actually have been a kill. So you have defeated the final uh, clockwork abomination in the room. And this is a trick, trick shot. Yeah. So let me zoom out. Let's see whether we can mm. see the whole map. Uh... I think... Yeah, you Let's have. Let's search the room. You have. Yeah, you can mm. search this room if you like. Picking up all my hand axes. Cool. Oh. oh. So, remember uh, that you must also restore them on the screen uh, on your character sheet. I will. Oh, no, no, I am doing that more, more now. Yeah, good lad. Uh, good yeah, lad. Ca Cal uh, remember when you had that scroll before you went into that temple when you were looking for your sister? Um, I studied a bit of it then before you used it. That's why I put it into um, started putting notes into my book and trying to develop it myself because you had an invisibility scroll back then. Oh, I'm. Uh... I, I, that score always in my mind now. I've been studying so hard, mm -hmm. and I'm going to enjoy this spell. I really am. I, <laughs> so deep, deep. I can go invisible for an hour mm -hmm. until you do something, because almost uh, most a lot of actions will reveal you. However, mm -hmm. uh, deep looks around the room, um, trying to ascertain what this room may have been under all the layers of dust this uh, is perhaps a disused chapel to some forgotten house god or or minor deity it certainly doesn't have any of the grand carvings you've seen in other temples as you've traveled about um, it um, houses little else however um, Deep discovers a small compartment hidden in one of the pillars in which he discovers completely at random <laughs> a hidden stash of copper pieces uh, as if perhaps they are there for um, uh, for the purposes of being a lightning rod or something rather than uh, rather than for actual storage of wealth we're nicking the copper up but we're nicking the pipes yeah. You're stealing the church collection plate. Now we've, we're nicking the copper pipes. We're taking everything, mate. Yep. So, so whatever you find, you are taking uh, to the value of. Uh, Im imagine you might be stripping the copper pipes out of the lightning rods in the temple. Um, yep. Perhaps it's a perhaps it's a lightning god. You never know. Anyway, any any, le any any lead on the roof. 
any lead on the roof if you want to climb yeah. up on the roof and look then you're welcome um <laughs> so um i'm going to tell you you have uh explored this uh fortress to its fullest extent um you have cleared it of its clockwork abominations and you are now ready to continue your explorations further well, you... yeah i guess why don't we go back to the village and let them know we cleared this out for them they got a lot of bodies yeah. oh have you electrocuted all the bodies by the way these did not seem to have the same weird mechanical heart as those walking undead. Um, that 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 seems to be a, a critical difference. The those those undead make a powerful vanguard for for this force because they're able to replenish their own numbers, um, but they don't hit anywhere near as hard as what these things can do. And these things blew up a lot. Well, it's this is this is this is my con concern. I mean, um, even just on this plane, I am a member of the Lords Alliance now from my time with you guys. And as I said, the risk that such a force went on to any of the cities of that uh, and towns of that alliance, whether it be Water Deep, um, Baldur's Gate, or any of those. Uh, if you, you know, imagine if some of the local villages have um, came across three or four of those mantis, or even the the bigger towns, a couple of those dragons. Uh, that could really cause a lot of damage to the town and the people. Um, yeah, this uh, this needs to be stopped. So uh, let's go back, tell the villagers this area is safe, but they have to do a lot of cleaning out. Lock back the vaults so nobody else does get. Uh, everyone else nicks deeps, deep, deeps hoard, and yeah. Have a long rest, and on to next the next place. Where? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. so Agreed. Question, are you long resting before you set out? Uh... Uh, I don't feel we need it. I'm good. Yeah, let's just go. I am going Can to you move you guys to the front door. Um, Chew Bacon is about to enter a void between the rooms, and some of you may be about to enter the pillars, but uh, or the walls. There we go. Ah, um, oh, somebody just pinged off somewhere. Where was that? Who was that? Oh, Pontus just ended up somewhere else. There we go. Okay, so that was me, hopefully, helpfully, um, moving you towards the front door, having completed your various tasks. I'm going to delete these clockwork beetles. I think they have, they've had their chips as well. Um, can, um, can you guys please give me a perception roll? You notice, uh, well, I'll tell you what you notice. If you, uh, if your perception comes up, trumps, so to speak. Oh, okay. Deep, deep so, sees everything. Yeah. So mm. Char, Pontos, and Karuruka, um, are, are not quite so, uh, not quite so sharp at the moment. Um, That's one Borin, by virtue of being closer to the door. The two doors um, um, is uh, uh, notices something. He notices it first, but deep, um, deep has a slightly deeper insight into what is seen. Um, you see the stone doors through which you entered this um, this once proud fortress of House Pentagon. Um, instead of seeing the uh, the largely unadorned um, stone doors that you expect to see. You see the outline oh, no. of a door wreathed in flames, but oh, no. this is not a door that you have seen before. This is a slightly different door. Um, oh. So, Fireboy, you know anything about this? <laughs> um... 
I will be honest, I do not recognize this, though it does appeal to me um, without question. Okay, I, I, I'll have an archive to check of anyone who is, uh, who is interested. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Well, anyone who has it's proficiency my in it. It's my axe is reacting to this. Hmm. Uh, oh, Char, Char doesn't get this one. This is, this is not <laughs> elemental fire. This is a different kind of fire. Um, hmm. um, Deep doesn't really quite get it either. Deep's like, what? What's this? Um, Borin notices um, that the runes on his infernal oh, axes <laughs> are glowing, <laughs> as if. Oh God. Um, what also keeps throwing these fucking mimics and spiders down here? <laughs> oh God, I'm not here next week. <laughs> so, uh, well, we, we've got a few minutes to uh, to to explore this uh, uh, this conundrum before we do the awards. So, um, but the the only way out has been replaced by a different door. Um, it seems like you have little choice. Um, Borin hears uh, a cultured voice. Speaking softly in his ear, saying, uh, "Excuse me, um, mi Mr. Coldfoot, um, would would you mind terribly?" Yes. Um, Who is your friend, Warren? Oh, just just step through the door. Bring your friends. It's fine. Just just want to have a little chat. Uh, is it, do you want your axes back? Um. No, no, no. Just, just come through, and we'll, we'll, we'll have a nice cup of tea, and, uh, and, and, and uh... no, I'm sorry, it's a flaming door. I'm well, like, well, Borin, what were you scared of? It's only it's getting, getting a little bit warm, and I'll just, I'll step through. Oh. Okay, so the Charles steps. I'm waiting until Charles says something on the other side. It's like, oh, God. oh I didn't what, know Char what the rules were. Char vanishes um, to to another place. Char, can you hear me? I'm going to cast invisibility on myself, and then go through the door. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. I I'm through. I'll go through as well. The boss mumbling. You know, if this is about the axes, you really should put the instructions on them first. Okay. So the um. Oh fuck! I mean, it's. I'm. I'm. I'm going to say. I'm going to say this is a similar room to one you visited before, um, and and it's nice. it's the same picture because I couldn't find a better picture, um, but this is there's a, a beautiful, um, Art Deco waiting room with uh, with very very long flowing red curtains, some slightly obscene statuary, um, some nice chairs. And uh, oh. and and you, you you hear a voice say, "Take a seat. We'll be with you shortly." And then, um, let me just make sure I've got everything where it should be before I take you to the next room. Um, that's the wrong. Oh, what have you guys into now? I don't you, know. Your evil I'm not, ways. I'm not here next week. I can't do anything. Oh, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know. I think there's a couple of you missing next week then. That's a shame. Oh, but um, Boring, um, just before we go in there, please be mindful what you say. Don't go too aggressive. I know in the past when when we've spoken to others of this ilk that you have been prone to be aggressive. That, that is oh, hit. It's not my fault. There was no one told me anything about this when I bought the axes. Nobody told me anything oh, about uh, it. Uh, oh, ex excuse, excuse me, uh, Colford party. Yes, yes. Um, please, yeah. please step through the doors. Um, uh, the the doors are not so much doors as just an opening, uh, an opening in the curtains which leads through to a misty void. Well, uh, while we, while we've been in in this um, waiting area, I've tried to my best use 
prestidigitation to try and tidy and smarten everyone up for at least a good impression, if nothing else. Okay. Uh, okay, let's, let's, let's face the music. And uh, dance. Okay, you, you, you find yourself in what appears to be an office. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, in front of you, you see three chairs. One, one, one chair appears to ex well two of two out of the three chairs in fact let's be honest all three chairs are extremely unsuited to the people trying to sit on the chairs um there's an enormous desk uh, about 20 feet wide um and th this is a, a well-appointed desk with a marble floor bookshelves everywhere it's a little bit toasty shall we say um but you see um, sitting on the opposite side of the desk, <laughs> he's, he's drawing arrows. <laughs> um, sitting on the other side of the desk, you can see um, what looks like an angel. Um, she has wings that look like they might once have been white, but they're slightly charred at the edges, and the tips of her feathers appear to have been soaked in blood. Um, she has a helmet with... Uh, kind of horns on it and a slightly reddish glow to her eyes but other than that she looks like an angel she might she might well be uh give, give me an uh, anyone anyone who wants to know about her origins give us an arcana check i i i am so worried of this i am if you there are certain names you could say i am very worried who you might say here up oh. Um, okay, so D D Deep is uh, at a loss. Borin has dropped an axe on the on, on the table on the floor. Um, so I wonder what I'm doing here. So, um, I think I know. I think I might have an idea as well. Um, any, any, anyway, um, uh, oh, thank you, for, thank you for doing that, Mister Colfoot. Can we, um, um. Let's let's have a little chat. Do you do you know any of these uh, any of these creatures that sit opposite me? Yeah, I killed them. I had a weapon. Nowhere I was never given the terms and conditions. <laughs> Nowhere yeah. on it is written what the heck. No, I never have done. given the terms and conditions. See see these axes here, all carved with infernal runes. Um, no do... one translated them for me. Well, I mean, have have you heard, um, have you heard the phrase caveat emptor, uh, let the buyer beware? No. 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 Where, where did you char, buy these? I'm, where did you I'm buy pointing, these axes? I'm pointing at Char. I'm pointing at Char. I put them from his place, and he didn't say anything about this. Have the axes. I'm out of here. If you've got replacements, well, ho hold on, hold on, <coughs> hold on. It's okay, we're just going to work this through. I mean, by, by buying these axes, you, you did enter into a contract with us. Um, I found no. Um, Thorin, oh, if, if, you'd ever, if you'd ever asked me, I could have translated those runes. You bought them in good faith in the city of Brass. It is a known, pl it is a known place for uh, pe uh, des um, people from the uh, Nine Hells to sometimes make... Um, trades. Um, I could have. I could have assisted if you'd asked. I, well, I, uh, let's let's not worry too much about that now. What's done is done. Um, <laughs> what, <laughs> what I'm trying to do is, um, you see, you've sent me these these neutral souls. These uh, by by killing things with these axes, you're you're effectively recruiting souls for the blood war. Um, so. I mean, we're not in Avernus, don't worry. Um, this is some place in between. Um, and I've brought my office here so I can um, just... Well, I thought maybe you'd like to help me fix what has gone wrong. Um, you see, you see, this mimic here, it's, it's not evil. It can't serve us in the Blood War. This, this... It tried to eat me. <laughs> Um, that doesn't make Everything it evil. I, I imagine there's probably lots of sensible creatures that would like to eat you. Um, well, I tell you what, I tell you what, here we go. Hold on. We're just going to go through an ethics question together. See whether, um, see whether we can make good on this, you know. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Uh, she raises her hands. 
and an image appears on the tips of your minds. If I can choose the right thing. Um, so, here we are. Um, uh, you, uh, you three there, you the mimic, um, and, uh, you know, everyone pay attention here. Um, we can learn something here. We can all learn something valuable here. So, um, place yourself in the position of the man next to the question mark. Um, you can uh, pick which way that um, speeding leviathan of steel goes. Um, do you pick the path which um, runs over your good and dear friend? Um, or do you pick the one that runs over strangers who you may or may not like? may or may not care about. Hey, well, I'll say this. I wouldn't touch it and let fate decide. Oh. Okay. So, so you're neutral evil, then. Just, just curious, uh, John. Uh, both Carrick and myself got 21 for the Arcana rolls, if that makes any difference oh, for... Oh, did you? Uh, oh, sorry, I missed that. 21. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty convincing there. Um, I'm out. So, I'm out. Give me the door. <laughs> Give me the door. I just want the door. I'm out. Well, I you know, just, we're, but, we're just trying. We're just trying to teach some of these creatures you've killed how to be evil. You know, mm -hmm. because then, then we can square the books. You see, um, um, the 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 mimic um starts trying to eat the chair, and the so creature. Can I, can I put in a hypothetical then? Um, well, in a, in, a, in, a, in a second, in a second, I've got a couple of things to get rid of first. So, first of all, uh, Char got a really good Arcana check. Is Kara Rook proficient with Arcana? I wouldn't say I'm proficient. Ah, okay. So, Char knows what this thing is. Uh, I'm just is... hoping you don't say a particular one name. I'm just hoping it's not one name. <laughs> Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Thank God for that. Oh. Okay, so that that is a uh, a type of thing rather than a name mm. of. A thing. Yes. Yes. Yep. Um. So. Um. And the the mimic uh, is not paying attention to the presentation. She starts trying to eat the chair, and so she says, "Oh, you're hopeless." Clicks her fingers, it disappears. Um. So. Uh. Uh, uh, Mr. Culford, you have a, a, a hypothetical, um, a hypothetical you wish to introduce into the equation. You want to run a definition of evil. These clearly have intelligence enough to break into a person's home, go to a place where they intentionally know other people are going to go, it's prey, wait there, and then attack and eat them. If that's not evil, or some sort of in enough intelligence to decide between right, right and wrong, then those two, the mimic and the large mimic, that those two are cover the ability to tell. Oh no, that's, that's nature. Point. That's natural selection. They didn't break in. They just evolved that way. That's that's flora and fauna, not evil. Deep, deep. Deep, I'm saying, Deep, did you allow those things into your home? Were they naturally there? Can a fly break yeah. in? Can a spider break in? Can a... Uh, well, anyway. Uh, uh, they, they don't seem to be able to grasp door, the concept of evil. Door. I'm out. Door. The door isn't there. Care. There isn't a door. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm the wall. I just want okay. door. Bo 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 boring. Bo boring. What did we say about beforehand about just trying to be calm? and have a conversation. Um, these individuals uh, can be um, very intelligent and can be reasoned with. We just need to... Yes. I've given you your axes back. I... But, out. but you can't give the axes back. They disappear and they're, they're in your belt loops. They're yours now. You, you have made an agreement, Boren. In, in many ways, they're, I, they're I, a part of you. Um, don't don't worry about it. It's all right. We're just we're just trying to come to a some kind of um, accord. That's all. Um, the <laughs> uh, the horde mimic uh, does eat the chair, 
and uh, and and the 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 strange angel says, oh, "Hopeless," and she makes that disappear too. And then she says, "Oh, you're my last hope, Spider. Um, come on, come on. Surely you must have some evil in your soul." Um, and um, the spider, uh, yes. the spider looks up at the uh, at the diagram, and. <laughs> You see, you see, there's an infinite number of axes. You'll always have at least four. They can't go, you know. I'm not, I, I don't care. You, if I leave, I'm burying them again. If I leave, but I will keep killing them as whatever you don't like. I will keep on just killing stuff. Oh, that would be very foolish <laughs> indeed. Anyway, um, um, hold, hold on, hand, hold on. I think we're getting somewhere. Um. Uh, the the spider, um, the, the spider appears to be considering the uh, the the moral dilemma, um, with with some, um, with some depth. And you can see it's um, pinch is kind of going. And then suddenly it seems to make its mind up, and and Felice says, "Oh, it's all good." You're off the hook, Borin. At least one of these creatures has discovered evil in its soul. Um, okay. So, um... Ah, there we go. A spider demon. How wonderful. Um, hey, spider demon. What would you like to do now? The spider demon's many eyes all point over at the party. And it kind of goes. Oh, well, that makes perfect sense. That's even more evil than I imagined. Mm. Well, well, um, have have at it then, if you like. Um. <laughs> so, um, a huge spider demon um, awaits you next week. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. uh, until such time, let's have a look at the awards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dropping um, the axes will no longer save you, Borin. <laughs> you, you've got to understand. You, 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 you made an agreement with with those powers, Borin. You don't. I and... made no such thing. Did I you? Don't you, know. you, accept, you accepted the axes uh, willingly. I made a purchase. <laughs> Warren, you don't have to worry about remembering to pick, pick your axes up. You'll always have them. It's yep. like unlimited ammo. Yep, they'll follow you around now. But, oh, so they blink now. <laughs> Possibly. Um, so, uh, I hope you enjoyed that little segue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Um, here we go. Let's. I'm uh, gonna come up with the number. Right. Okay. What? Five, ten, twenty. Twenty one. How many do you want before you can leave me alone? <laughs> I think. I think that's a discussion for another another session. Yeah. I, I am not a quantum leap where I am just not doing it forever. I am not quantum leaping. Hmm. Well. Well, I mean, if if you if you die, then um, then then you'll be free of the ar arrangement. But I'm sure that's not what you want. Anyway, um, okay. Is there any adverse effects of being killed? Okay, if I die, my soul isn't taken by you or anything like that. Oh, absolutely. Yes, it'll be ours. No. <laughs> um. Anyway, anyway, uh, let let's move on. We'll 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 deal uh, with this next time. Uh, Don't worry, your soul will not be cast into the pits of hell while you're away. That would be mean. Yet, um, yet. <laughs> I, I, I hate these decisions. I don't. It, there's, there's no decision to be made at the moment. You're going to have to fight a, have a fight to death with the spider demon that you made. Um, well, Michael, make sure you get that new job because otherwise, I think Borin might be consigned to hell. Uh. uh. Anyway, it's let's like, um. It's not like hell, though, is it? Well, it's it's Avernus, which is the it's first a layer of hell. It's about for good and evil, right? Sorry. Is it? Is it not a battle for good and evil? No, yeah, no, we, it's we, it's a battle between chaotic <laughs> evil and lawful evil. 
we'll have, we'll have the discussion afterwards, yeah. uh, Michael. Don't worry about oh, it. Any, any, anyway, um, uh, first blood. First blood. Who did the first, first whacking? First blood was Borin. Cool. Okay. Because he, he had first activation at the start. Uh, first kill, I think, was Char, because Char did two crits in a row, didn't he? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. And it was it was an I impressive work. Kill of the week. I, Char is double crit. Yeah, Char's double crit, definitely. Okay, we, we're not going to need 15 minutes for these. Maybe we can talk about the multiverse after all. Mm -hmm. um, yoink. Uh, I think there was that cheeky one with uh, Pontos in it at the end. Yeah, charged in and uh, charged in and killed one. It was on like about six health and just went out. Oh, there you go, dead. Okay, <coughs> and next longest kill streak. Um, I don't know if we had any kill streaks. We did, and everyone really killed one each. Yeah, it was a fairly mm. even on the kills, wasn't it? Um, So God, here comes Kill from the Grave. I don't think we have one of those this time. Not this time, no. So, Damage Dealer. I think that is quite likely to be Char this time. Yeah, I, I, um, up until I did that fireball, it was going to be, um, it was going to be, it was going to be deep because he got like a, that cheeky 60, uh, 46 um, at, uh, <laughs> at one point, but uh, with, with that lightning bolt, but yeah, I got a 62 with the fireball. Yeah, so so Char seems to be in the lead today. Um, best supporting role, well, uh, best supporting cleric whose name is Deep is awarded to Deep this week. Um, yeah, there's the king truck for opening the chest, you know, sort of a <laughs> for taking the fireball to the face. Mm, well, we could make the exception. So, best supporting role for for. Uh, for Kararuk for fireballing himself for the uh, take him on for the team. Um, here we go. Fumble, fumble of the week. I mean, I think that's going to be Kararuk too because I think he's he. Uh, yeah, the concussion. Yeah. Yeah. Confused yeah. myself with a ball. He got roundly, <laughs> roundly bonked on the head. Oh, hold on. No, no. I've changed my mind. Fumble of the week. Um, technically, uh, Michael wasn't in control at the time, but fumble of the week goes to Borin because he. Fumbled by throwing a throwing axe at a treasure chest, and it bounced off and hit him in the head. So oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so that that's fumble of the week. Since the axe hit him. Say that again. Sorry. He's lucky it didn't kill him, because then the demon would own him since the axe hit him. <laughs> yeah, I would have owned him twice. It'd been like double mortgaged. Um. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to come back I'm going to write out a bunch of arguments next week I was like no I do not I have no there's no legal writing nothing I didn't give you a blood oath I didn't do that like so, I will just can not kill it if you keep give, give these to me I'm not going to kill anything with them there I'm just going to stay on my belt and I'm going to keep wasting your magic by every now and again throwing them away I am not entering any sort of contract with you you, you, you know, you know when you download an app on your on your smartphone, and there's, uh, you know, by you, you, by doing it, you accept their terms and conditions without having any knowledge of what they are. It's pretty much like that. Or like um, everyone, got, when they got their iTunes, they had that YouTube song for no apparent reason. Um, then no one agreed to it, but you had that YouTube song already loaded. Mm. You. Right. Uh, do you mean I'm you too? Did you say YouTube? Waste their magic. I'm, I'm sure it was you. Uh, you two. Uh, you two song, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. You too. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah you, everyone yeah. got the album for free, didn't they? Yeah. And yeah. Lots of people were really mad about that, but, but yeah, they they got it, and uh, Bono got their souls for free. <laughs> um, well, they got a bum deal. Just I'm not going to kill. It. I'm just going to waste their time. It's like I'm not using it. I'm oh, not kill anyone with it now. But they, but they, they take it back. You're no fun. You're no fun. Come on. I'm no fun. You still have to. Yeah, you still I'm have to fight the spider demon you've created. You're not getting out no, of that I one. That, but I am not walking out. I'm not owing my soul to anyone. Oh. Everyone just. Uh, everyone just like. Oh yeah, yeah. At the end of it, it's like no, no you don't give away you your soul. I, do you know when I, you go into a shop and you buy some clothes, you can return it until you use it. You've used those axes. <laughs> 
<laughs> that, that, that's, that's what I'm going with. Yes, oh. but if you Don't... wear the clothes and they spontaneously combust because they're designed that way, you come back and tell them, yeah, that's no. Yeah, they wouldn't believe you. I'm not though. doing it. I am not doing it. <laughs> Boring's like, no, no, no. I will waste your magic by. <sighs> I will these weapons. You. you. No. Who's fun. the most valuable player then? <laughs> Who gets that this uh, week? Um, I, I would um, say it's either Deep or Pontos, because, I mean, Deep with that support, and Pontos was really racking up the um, the damage with him and Chewbacon. Mm. He really, uh, Pontos really got in there, didn't he? Um, he? Even though he was at death's door, he didn't retreat, he carried on fighting. Um <laughs> Um, so we have role player of the week. Um, not massive amounts of RP available this oh, week. I'm, not I'm going to, but go on, go I'm ahead. Gonna, I, I'm going to nominate Deep for the not healing uh, um, Carol because <laughs> he was invisible. Oh, yeah. That is fair. Like that, that is good. We like. Okay. Oh yeah. I think that takes us to the end. So. So we actually oh, have a few minutes left. When they uploaded. I, 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 uh, I, I will say, John, when you first described this individual um, that yeah, we're speaking to, hmm. um, I, my brain went to the worst case scenario, and I thought you were going to say um, uh, Zarel. Oh. No, God, well, wouldn't wouldn't well, be so mean. <laughs> well, well, when you said it's like uh, looks like a, a fallen angel, it's like okay, right. Let's back this one up here. <laughs> oh, well, this is this is mm, this is yeah, one I, of the. Uh... I know what they are. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I, on that description, it was like, yes, uh, we could be in real shit here, but um, still in difficulty but not as bad yeah I yeah. just realised I could just I can just sell them to somebody else I'll sell them to somebody else for one copper done oh oh that solves the issue well you, you don't know what's written on them yet they <laughs> There yeah. might there might be some obvious get out clause or something like, like that. I said, like I said, but, like I, said yeah. I, 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 I could translate it for you um, I have oh. I have the I have the suitable rituals. You've never asked me to look at it or read it for you. Um, Those were second-hand axes. How did no one else use them before? No, no, they were brand new. They were brand new, in axes made out of infernal iron and covered in unpleasant runes, which you know. But there there, there, there are standard throwing axes. There, there are there are there are many tales of people that have picked up items unbeknown and they've been cursed or by just taking them they've um, gone into a pact and agreed to carry out uh, to do this i mean in a dream someone reaches out to him in a nightmare and by um, accepting that hand they've gone into a pact there are opp there are things like that so whether you think you can sit there and put your fingers in your ears and go la 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 not it listening whether the demons will Oh, no, sorry, devils, not demons. Whether the um, devils will um, accept that as a valid argument, or you've got to play the game. They are very intelligent, and they they enjoy the art of the negotiation and the, the deal-making. Mm, okay, I'm just going to go to a cult of where these things, whoever worships these people, sell them there. Okay, because I'm obviously not going to... I'm not going to sell this off to some benotes. I'm a good guy. I'm not going to sell this on to the unbenotes people. I'm going to do some research, find their temple, and just say, hey, who wants to work for these guys? I'll sell you these. And then I'll say, you've got to declare your enduring admiration. There you go. I'm out. I'm done. I wash my hand of the whole thing. Maybe this maybe Warren will get eaten by a spider problem. demon before he gets a chance. You never know. <laughs> you, 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 what you, have, you have no sense of adventure. I mean, when yeah. you, when you when the other portals with tear and that you you pucker up and don't want to engage in conversation. I mean, um, Carol got a very nice dagger through that um, that deal. Um, I'm all for adventure. I just don't want to sell my immortal soul. That is the only time. 
Oh, but you know what happens? Make, make a deal. Make an agreement. You yeah. Just, like, then, so what yeah. happens if you use these axes on the spider demon who's already in hell? And we kill it. Uh, he's not living. Oh, that would be interesting. He's but a, technically, he's a... no, he's not alive. So, mm. Mm. oh, yeah, a, a kind and benevolent DM that gives you exciting, exciting situations <laughs> to do with unique <laughs> items that he's given you, and, and the, you don't these, want to play <laughs> these these possible story arcs, and he just throws it away and play and with goes, me, Michael. Play with me. <laughs> This is why I only pick dwarf stuff. I hate, I don't want to do de deals with the devil. Well, too oh. late, you have. Mm. I mean, you, to be fair, you didn't know you'd done it, but but you did it. Okay, you want to waste your magic and time? By all means, I'll oh. sit in dust for 150 but I think, years. I think Tia mentioned it, didn't she? Tia, Tia brought it up. She said, mm. Ooh, just wait till you kill something. Mm. But it took a long time for us to actually find something alive for you to kill, didn't it? So, it's a, or, or for you to get that, or for you to get that killing blow with some something. It's it's literally an axe. It's the only thing you do other than chopping wood or carving something. You kill All right, it. I gotta log off, John. Please remember to review the bless alterations I proposed. Yes, oh. I had a look at them. They they they're pretty oh. cool. I may need to nerf them slightly, but it, I, it's <clears> awesome. I like it a lot. Um, no worries. Have a good one, mate. Catch you soon. Take it easy. Catch you later on. <laughs> one of us. One of us. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, chaps. Take it easy, mate. I'm not here next week. Yep. And uh, 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 you're I'm not like here that. either, Michael. Or me. Yes, and I do not want to make deals. So get rid of it. Get oh, hold on. Am I three down next week? Yeah, I'm on holiday next week. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, I guess we're not going next week then. Because um, we can't go with only two of you. Anyway, um, have a lovely week. Have a lovely holiday. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks. Take it easy. Enjoy your holiday. Bye. Thank you. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye.